In this video, we'll look at jazzing up your Google Sheets a little bit by colorizing your tabs, and I'll show you how to set up custom colors as well as some tips on how to use them. Let's get started. I want my test data tab to stand out with some blue coloring. To add a blue accent to my test data tab, I'm going to right click on the tab itself to bring up the context menu. I'm going to come up here and hover over change color and then I'm going to pick out my favorite blue color right here. And you can see the bottom of the tab is now a wonderful blue. If you happen to get cold feet and decide that color is not for you, right click on the tab again, come up to change color and at the top click on reset and that'll remove the color and you're back to normal. Let's say I'm not a fan of any of the colors that Google provides. I can set a custom color myself. So we'll right click again, come up to change color, and this time I'll click on the plus underneath custom. This will present the custom color picker. We'll start out with dragging the hue to close to where I want it, and then come up here to fine tune, and you can see the hex value changing as we move it. And once you have it where you want it, click OK. Let's say you know the hex value of the color you want. We'll go back to the color menu and we'll click on custom again. And here you can use the hex text box to enter the value directly. So I'm going to paste in the Google green and we'll hit OK. And now my tab is Google green. If you find yourself using custom colors regularly, create a Google Sheet with all your favorites. Here I've created a spreadsheet with palettes from Google, Facebook, Microsoft, and my favorite beer from college, Pabst Blue Ribbon. I found all these colors on the website usbrandcolors.com. Of course, you can Google around for the hex values of your favorite colors. The cool thing is I can highlight these Pabst colors right here. I'll go ahead, control C to copy those, and I'll move over to my spreadsheet here. And if I paste them right there, and I actually can undo that. And if I come up to the custom palette here, you can see they've shown up in the palette right here. So that allows you to easily transfer custom colors from one spreadsheet to another. If you have spreadsheets that you use as templates, when you set the custom colors there, they will also transfer to the copies as well. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future Google Sheets tutorials. Thank you for watching.